Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. This is an update to the video I made recently debunking some viral TikTok hacks. One of these was trying to turn a bouncy ball into a squishy, which obviously didn't work out. However, I realized that it might be possible to turn the balls into slime instead, and to my surprise, the result was really good. It ended up like a slushy or cloud slime, but without having to add any fake snow. So I started out with a kit like this, where you pour PVA chips into a mold and then stick everything together using water. PVA is a water-soluble plastic, and it's the same thing found inside glue or face masks, which is used for making slime. The only difference here is that the PVA is fairly solid. If you watched the previous video, then you remember that I left the balls in water for a week, and only the top layer started to dissolve. I knew I had to leave these in water for much longer in order to get them soft enough for slime. This is why the update took so long, because I left these in for at least 4 or 5 weeks. The water started evaporating after a while, but I always made sure that there was enough to cover the top of the balls. So here they are after a long time, and they're almost completely soft and have a jelly-like texture. The mixture is quite sticky and reminds me a lot of PVA glue, which of course is a good sign. The closer this is to glue, the more likely it's going to work for slime. The first step was to mash everything up so I have an even texture to work with. This was pretty fun, and I ended up squishing apart some of the smaller chunks with my fingers. To activate the slime, I'm going to use baking soda and contact lens solution as always. I don't know the concentration of PVA in the bouncy balls, so I'm going to be quite careful with these ingredients. I'm simply adding small amounts of each one and then seeing what happens. I did this for ages, but nothing was working, and I soon realized that this brand of contact lens liquid actually doesn't contain borate. This is the first time I've experienced it happening, so I was pretty surprised. I switched over to the brand that I always use in my previous videos, and it worked almost right away. The bouncy ball mixture starts clumping together and pulling away from the sides of the glass. When you're making DIY slime, it's always more likely to be underactivated than overactivated. So make sure you keep adding contact lens liquid or borax solution until the mixture doesn't leave a sticky residue on your skin. This one ended up with a surprisingly fluffy texture that reminds me a lot of slushy or cloud slime. This is a slime that typically has fake snow mixed inside to give it a more textured and crunchy feel. However, in this case, I'm guessing the tiny chunks of bouncy ball PVA have the same effect. Now I just repeated everything with the second bouncy ball, and this one turned out even prettier because the colors blended together into a nice pink shade. I'm still amazed by this texture because it's really unique for a DIY slime. That's the reason I made this into a full video for YouTube, in case someone wants to try it out as well. You simply need one of these bouncy ball kits and a lot of patience. In retrospect, I think this recipe might work faster if you simply dissolved all the PVA chips from the kits directly in water instead of turning them into a bouncy ball first. The final result reminds me a lot of pink lemonade or soft serve ice cream. It's super crunchy and satisfying to play with. I hope you enjoyed this update and be sure to follow me on TikTok, YouTube Shorts and my newly relaunched Facebook page as well. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.